guys, your boy CK. The Panthers finally did it. They made Christian McCaffrey the highest paid running back in NFL history. My man is so rich, he probably could use a 20 to wipe his. Now, Zeke does have a six year, $90 million deal in place, but the 16 million average annual salary of McCaffrey's deal ranks first in the league. So that leads us into today's video. We're going to be taking a player in every round that hasn't been broken a minute by Tory Lanes. Now in this video I'm going to spotrack.com. I'm going to click career earnings and see how much total cash a player has made throughout their entire career. So these numbers are going to be bigger than numbers you've seen in past videos I've done with money. For instance, Joe Stilly has made 84 million in his career. We're going with the left tackle. My theory so far is that the highest paid player is going to be the guy that's the best player in every round. That's just my theory. I could be proven wrong though. So far so good as we take Vaccaro in round two. Round three, we have guys on their rookie contracts. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even, oh damn it. I didn't even think of that. So my theory is already out the window. We got to go with Damian Williams instead of Kamara. This is why you stay out of trouble, man. Josh Gordon could have had way more money, but all the issues he faced with, you know, getting suspended and things like that, you know, that's why he's only made 5 million. I know I'm saying only, okay, but compared to what he could have been making, like he's so talented that he could have got a, a massive contract. He keep playing the way he did last season throughout the playoffs. He's going to get paid, so I ain't worried about Tano. But we can't take him around five. We got to go with Eddie Gold instead. One of the few instances where I'm allowed to take a legend when it's not the legend round. Ty Law made 60 million in his career. Round number seven, we have nothing but linemen and we're going with the former fourth round pick, Mike Daniels. I don't want to see any cap in the comments, okay? Don't even lie to me. We were all today years old when we found out that there was another Chandler Jones in the NFL. He played for one season back in 2014. We're going with the more famous one in round number eight. He's made 67 million in his career. It pays to be a tight end in the NFL, man. Look at Jordan Reed. 33 million, even though he's never played a full season in the NFL. You can add Anthony Hitchens' career earnings and Hassan Reddick's career earnings, and it still wouldn't equal KJ Wright's. Not bad for a former fourth round pick. Now, Mari did just get paid, but that's for the future. We're looking at what they've gotten in the past. And Jarvis has made just a little bit more. We're going with the wide receiver from Cleveland. Hey, yo, how many players in the NFL are named Mike Williams? Oh, my God. Oh. Um, all of them. That has to be one of the most common names I've ever seen in the NFL. We're going with Sammy Watkins in round 12, though. Seeing these guys go from undrafted to making 60 million in their career is just so inspirational, man. We're going with Cameron Wake in round 13. All right, so we have legends, and then we have legend legends. Larry Little is a legend legend. I couldn't find anything on uh, his career earnings, so we got to go with Jason Kelsey in round 14. It pays to be a quarterback, but it also pays to be the people that protect the quarterback. Nate Soder is made 71 million in his career you got to think if he played in this era he would be one of the highest paid players in the nfl but joe montana made a measly 25 million as one of the best quarterbacks of all time about time we get another quarterback we're going with kareem jackson around 17. all right so i knew williams was an extremely common last name but can y'all get creative with these first names please first we had like four mike williamses now we have four marcus williamses and we ain't going with any of them in round 18 we're going with jalen ramsey not only does it pay to be a quarterback it pays to be the people that protect the quarterback but it also pays the people that sack the quarterback we're going with Jarrell Casey in round number 19 this might be the first round all draft where we've seen everyone making at least 50 million in their career so far but we got to go with the tight end Jimmy Graham so we have all legends in round 21 I looked up Kellen Winslow senior and they kept on giving me results for Kellen Winslow jr so I have to put his career earnings as NA because I don't know it we're going with Barry Sanders why did they always do this to me in the last round just drop an Eagles legend in and and make sure I can't take him. You gotta go with John Randall instead of B-Dog. I aspire to be like every one of these players that we ended up drafting, man. They're all rich or have been rich in the past. One of you people that like the video will be as rich as these NFL players one day. That's it. That's it. If you don't like the video, you have no chance of becoming as rich as them. I don't make the rules. I'm just being honest. Like the odds are that one of you people will end up, you know, becoming as rich as them. I'm going to like my own video because I want to be as rich as them too. Look at that tackle. Fourth down coming up and he's going for it. Let's go. We got to put a spy up. Chandler, I need you to watch Russell Wilson. Ginormous fourth down. Oh, he has Randy Moss. He has Randy. Come on. Oh, he's going underneath. Yes, sir. Beautiful defense, Ty Law. See, the best cornerbacks ever, you know, they're not just good at coverage. They're good at that tackling play right. They have the whole package. All right, we're going to the counter. Oh, he ran commit. Look at this savage. All right, let's go, man. Second and 14. Wide trail, bunch trail, whatever you want to call it. 
Damn, let's go. Jimmy Graham, it took him a while to get open, but <laughs> thank God he did. Keeping things simple in his third and three. This is the play card. It looks a little boring, I know, but hey, you got to do what you got to do, man. Here we go. Sammy, let's go. Sammy Watkins, beautiful route first down. All right, let's go, man. Second and 11. X again. X again. Jimmy Graham carrying us so far. We have the lead. All right, back on defense we go. Vertical. Oh, that's an interception. Never mind. That's a good dot. Let's go. Oh, wow. How did he get me over top? Come on, Kareem. How much is this man making? He, he made 59 million in his career. Kidding. All right, cornerbacks, you know, they're not perfect. All right. Oh, he missed the extra point. Neither are kickers. <laughs> I take blame for that. I was in a package where Ty Law was playing like linebacker, so it, it took away from him being on the outside. It, it's not going to happen again. I promise you that. Damien, we got to get something going on the ground. Instead of him running to the inside, why not try running to the outside? On the second and seven, going to the halfback toss. Need a great block for my wide receiver on the edge. Come on, buddy. It's all on you. That's a nice block. That's a really nice block. Another one from number 74. We got a solid game. It's going to bring up a third and short. He's not expecting to run to the left side on this halfback stretch. I'm hoping we can get this. I hope we can get this first down with ease. Yes, sir. Too easy, baby. Damien getting a nice group move. Come on. Where are the blocks? 86. Why would you go away from him? It just doesn't make sense sometimes. Like, we could have still been running if he just blocked the dude right in front of him instead of veering off like an idiot. Anyways, first down and 10. Here we go. Square wide open. Let's go. Sammy Watkins diving for the catch. Going to the screen on this second and two. Looking to get Barry Sanders involved in this offense. Let's go. He's not ready for it. Barry, come on. Follow the blockers. Damn it. He curved a little too far inside. I got to stop missing on these near touchdowns. I did not want to make that deep of a cut, man. Y'all know I did it. All right. I'll make up for it, though. We're just going to touchdown and dry. I can just feel it, man. 77 with the nice block. We're going to the outside. Look at the ball carrier vision. Damian Williams extending our lead. Now we got cornerbacks matched up where they need to be. Okay, Ty Law on the outside. I gotta watch Randy Moss. Look at the sack, baby. Are these not the best uniforms in the game right now? The color smash unis? Tell me they're not. If, if they're not, let me know which ones are so I can go cop them, okay? I will cop them. Oh no, I should buy have like 600K for no reason. Look at, oh my, thank God we have a nice safety. I guess you have to be like right next to the ball to intercept it, because I thought we played that perfectly. Clearly, that was not the case. Here we go on the third and 16. Okay, Ramsey. Ramsey getting the INT, showing us how to intercept the ball. Uh, hopefully, you know, everybody else takes notes. And there's the rage quit, man. Let's see what happens in game number two. Oh, that was gonna be nasty. I might have to get Jarvis more involved. He gonna be playing like that? What in the world? Like, that was a nasty return. Okay, look at block on outside from Jarvis, too. Oh, the Jukes. The Jukes are immaculate in this game so far. But yeah, I gotta look for Jarvis now. I know Damien just had a nice play. Okay, well, Damien's wide open. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go to Damien. I'm sorry, they gonna leave him that wide open. Yeah. All right, well, this time I might be able to go to Jarvis on this nice little, uh, host court or whatever. I don't know what I forgot it called. Joe Montana can scramble, bro. You have a spy up, but oh, oh, no. I did not want to, you know what I was trying to do. I was trying to slide with the quarterback. It made me pump faked and throw an interception, bro. And he probably think he did something too. He has a Jarvis of his own. And I know what he's capable of. So trust me, I'm going to be watching him. I will be watching. I'm run committing. Ran commit. Oh yeah, I don't know what kind of play call that was. We got him in the backfield though. Third down and 12. He has Jarvis at quarterback. I don't know how you do that. That's pretty interesting. Pretty, pretty interesting, man. Nice tackle. Fourth down, I believe. No. Look at this guy. <laughs> Every play is going to be doing this read option. Quarterback, running back. Oh, it's working, though. It is working, though. Look at this. Look at this loser. Come on. Give me a, give me a strip. Yes, sir. We figured it out, buddy. Pick a different play. It's another run. It's a counter play to the outside, baby. Ty Law with the tackle for a loss. He thought he was going to move down the field with this, with this read option. Not on me, buddy. Not like that. Fourth down, he did it again. And we have the ball back. I'm going to lie. It could be OP if you don't know how to stop it. But uh, luckily, we figured out how to stop it. Here we go. Square, I see you, Jarvis. Way to come back and help out the Q Bay. Look at this route right here, bro. This is going to be pretty fun to see what develops. Jarvis, I'm hoping you can get open, buddy. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Jesus Christ. What just happened? Interception. I'm taking it all the way. I'm taking No, the Caro. Stop going the wrong way. Four down and seven. I don't get it here. I'm quitting. That simple. 